Hi, I'm Max, engineer at Thameson, and today I explain how you calculate the correct size of a valve based on the KV or CV value. The KV value is an indication of liquid or gas flow through a valve for a particular medium and pressure drop. The greater this value, the higher the liquid or gas flow through the valve at a given pressure drop. You can calculate the KV value with our calculator on Thameson.com. Countries that use the imperial system use a slightly different value. The CV value. The CV value is defined as the flow rate of water in gallons per minute at a temperature of 16 degrees Fahrenheit and a pressure drop of 1 psi. The KV and CV values are related as follows. CV is approximately 1.15 times the KV. The KV value indicates how much water flows through the valve at a pressure drop of 1 bar. So this is indicated in cubic meters per hour but can easily be converted to liters per minute. An example, so suppose you have a water pipe with a pressure of 1 bar. At the end of the pipe is a valve connected with a KV value of 3. The pressure drop is then 1 bar because the valve is connected to the outside air. So the pressure relative to the atmospheric pressure is 0. The KV value of 3 means that the liquid flow through the valve will be 3 cubic meters per hour. If the valve is in a closed system, the pressure drop is a bit more difficult to calculate. You can do this as follows. You measure the pressure in the pipe before the valve and after the valve. The pressure before the valve minus the pressure after the valve is then the pressure drop. It is also important to realize that the KV value is defined for water and not for gases or other liquids. For gases and liquids, the KV value can still be used, but it's actually calculated with a formula. Therefore, you should always use the KV calculator to calculate the correct value. In general, the KV value of a valve is also given in the product description or the technical data sheet. The KV value is a better way to choose the right size valve than, for example, the pipe size or diameter of the pass-through. The reason for this is that the KV value can vary considerably per valve and that the final liquid or gas flow that has to pass through the valve is the decisive factor. If you enjoyed this video, then click the like button and subscribe for more videos. And if you have any questions about KV value calculations, then please contact me or someone else from Thameson.